We're gonna change the color of this to be gray. And we're gonna change the color of this to be pink because I like pink. <laughs> now I'm just gonna change all the other colors of this to coordinate. Well, no, actually, mm, you could be yellow. Okay, okay. Yeah, S tier is pink, duh, okay. So here are all the games that I streamed this year. Okay. Some things are also going to be moved around like while I'm in the process of it. So like I may put something in some place and then decide to move it again later, you know? So like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know yet, but we'll figure it out as we go. I don't know where to start, this is my problem. Just kidding, I do. Harvestella was horrible. <laughs> I hated Harvestella. Here's my issues with Harvestella. The game is called Harvestella and farming is not the main point of the game. Like, it makes no sense. Like, if you are going to have a game called Harvestella, farming should be the forefront of the game. And I feel like just the name alone really set me up with like wrong expectations. Because how are you gonna have a game called Harvestella? And then, like, they take you out of the farming to do story stuff. I don't know. I appreciate what it tried to do. And I will always just want... I, I want farming games set in, like, a fantasy RPG setting to just do really well. But, like, this is maybe a me problem, but I just feel like there should have been, like, a bit more farming there. I don't know. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't get far enough to- because I didn't care. But it seemed like very story driven with the characters and like fighting things. They did not do a good enough balance of the farming. Because there was farming. Like, I'm not trying to say there wasn't farming. But it was just like clearly not the main point of what you should have been doing ever. Um, so yeah, Harvestella I did not enjoy. I am sure... <laughs> I am sure that maybe had it not been called Harvestella and it just been called like Fantasiella, I would have been like, okay, I understand. Like I didn't buy it. I very luckily just played the demo. So I want farming fantasy games to do really well, but like, I'm not going to give them accolades for just like having a game in the genre. Like glad there's a game in the genre, especially by Square Enix just because they are such a big company, but like, mm. So yeah, did not enjoy Harvestella. That is going F tier. I didn't even buy the full game. I did not like it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where to put things. I'm like hesitant just to automatically put things in S plus, you know? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Animal Crossing as a solid A. Animal Crossing New Horizons, her time has come and gone. And if I made this a couple years ago, it would have been an S plus and S, but like Animal Crossing, I think of her as a fond memory. I look back on her nicely. And she's something I like to log in and walk around in. So she's a solid A. Maybe I'll move her down to B depending how I feel. I don't know. Call to the Lamb, S+. Call to the Lamb was one of my favorite gaming experiences this year. I loved how interactive it was. I really like that kind of roguelike game where it's like, even I can succeed in it. Cult of the Lamb was so good. Elden Ring, incredible game. Many, it was game of the year. Cult of the Lamb was my game of the year. It was so good. It was absolutely incredible. Danganronpa S is going in D tier. Danganronpa, I'll go also talk more about Cult of the Lamb. But Danganronpa S is going into D tier. Um, I'm not gonna spoil anything about Danganronpa, but this is a spinoff game where they're just kind of on a beach and in swimsuits. And it's like a board game. I don't know. You don't need it to be happy. I don't think there's even like any story things like. Cause Dong and Rampa Ultra Despair Girls is still like relevant to the story. This is not even relevant to the story. So that's in D tier because it was like, I like a good gotcha game board game, but like I just didn't really have a great time with it. So I don't know. Yeah, Danganronpa S does not need to exist. It was really just kind of like, we are porting Danganronpa to the Switch. We might as well just come out with something else also. But yeah, Cult of the Lamb was so good. And I liked how there was base customization too. Cult of the Lamb just really checked off a lot of boxes for me. Also, I heard that they are coming out with a major content update for it. So that's exciting. 
Bear and Breakfast, I'm gonna say is an S. Bear and Breakfast, I played like right at, at like the day it came out, I'm pretty sure. So I have not played it in a while and I'm sure they fixed all the issues I had. Like even while I played it, I know they did some content updates. Not content updates, but they like fixed some issues like nails and stuff. Bear and Breakfast was incredible. The only reason it's an S and not an S plus is because I didn't finish it. <laughs> I don't think I technically finished the game, and I don't like a lot of the later mechanics they added to it, so it was just kind of like, as the game went on, I started having less fun because I did not like the mechanics they added. Like, in one of the areas, you have to start keeping track of the temperature, and I just hate that. Yeah, I don't like Harvestella. <laughs> I did not have a good time with Harvestella at all. Splatoon 2, I'm gonna say is C. While Splatoon 3, I'm gonna say is A. Splatoon 2, I just played it because I needed to hold me myself over until Splatoon 3. And at the point in time I played Splatoon 2, everyone's already good at the game. So, like, I was not. But Splatoon 3, very, very good. I also finally got the pink locker. Had I not got the pink locker, maybe it would have been in B, but I got the pink locker, so it's an A tier game. Also, I will do the thing where I try and order these amongst themselves as well. <laughs> Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes, I did not have a great time with. I'll, yeah, I'll put it there right now. I don't like Warriors games, so this is not the fault of the game. I just don't like Warriors games, and that's really it. I don't know. Maple Story, I will put in D tier, not because it's not fun, but because I am very bad at Maple Story to the point where it's like, why did I decide to stream it? Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Put Maple Story in F tier, if we're being honest. Well, okay. Listen, maybe, but I had fun in Maple Story. But like, I don't know, I, I, it's D tier, it's a solid D tier in terms of how much fun I had streaming it. The only critic's opinion that matters, truly. But it's gonna be there right now. Okay, Elden Ring will be in B for me. Incredible game, I am just bad at it and did not find clothing fast enough. But yeah. Also, I didn't play Maple Story. I played it before they added housing, and maybe I would have had more fun if I could have a house. I'm worried to play Rune Factory 5, I'm gonna be honest. The Quarry, I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put as a high A. Housing's not available until level 220. Oh, okay. Well, then never mind. Glad, glad I, they did not have housing then. Because I'd have to get there, and ugh, I don't know if I could have done it. The quarry is going to be an, a high A, strictly because the point of the games is that- well, no, not even that. This is really good. I liked it a lot. It's an A tier. Maybe it'll be an S. We'll see how I feel. JK, I'm going to put it an S. <laughs> I don't know why I don't have a buff bear in breakfast. It was a really good game. Okay, let's see. What do I feel confident in placing? Nothing, really. I don't know. Yeah, not S+, plus because not enough Brenda. Exactly. I enjoyed her so much. I really liked Rune Factory 5. I'm just really stressed to place her. <laughs> I enjoyed Rune Factory 5 for what it was, you know? Overwatch 2? <laughs> Hi, D. Um, Overwatch 2... I want to go- I'm not gonna lie, I only have fun if I'm winning, and that's really it. I just only have fun if I'm doing well and winning. And even if I'm winning, that does not guarantee I'm having fun. So, D tier. A D tier game. Overwatch should be at Z, yeah, honestly. Mm. Hold on, should I open up my Google Docs of where I ranked all my Scooby-Doo games to have it shape this? Because I really was fully ready to make the YouTube video ranking them. Yeah, Overwatch. Ugh. Overwatch 1.5, truly. I just can't believe with Overwatch 2. Like, I feel like one of the main marketing things is that like, there's going to be a single player campaign. There still is not. 
I'm gonna say bug snacks is S. But is it, did I have more fun than the quarry? I'll put it there right now. Yeah, that shitty Kirby game. <laughs> Where is it? Where's Kirby? I'll put this in D only because it's free. Right? Was this free? It had to have been. How'd I play it? Hold on, hold on. Did I buy that? <laughs> I did I spend money on this game? Hold on. I bought it. <sighs> oh my god. I spent money and played it one day. I do own that. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie. I'll still keep it there if for no other reason the person whose name was gay. Okay. I think I need to rank the Bayonettas. Okay, Bratz Flaunt Your Fashion is gonna be a high B. Strictly because all of the other Bratz console games are better. So this is a solid B. Plus it was like, I was able to finish it in a stream, so that's a B. He was like, farming, but with my cult. But yeah, I like that people could join my cult. I thought it was very fun. I enjoyed it. Plus then it was like, oh my god, like y'all are part of the game. Yeah, this week, I spent $20. I really cannot believe that. Yeah, Brass was really fun though. I did have a great time with this, but like... I know her roots, you know? I know where she stems from. We cheer, I'm gonna say is a high C. No. I had more fun with this than Elder. <laughs> no. Okay, no, I'm gonna put it behind Elden Ring strictly because with Elden Ring, at least if I was doing bad, I knew it was because of my own inability to do things. Whereas we cheer, if I was doing bad, it was strictly because the Wii was not registering that I was doing things correctly. But I thought we cheer was so fun. I wanna play the second one. I need to do, y'all, I need to achieve something in terms of Twitch to where I can, like, reasonably say, like, if we hit this, I'll do We Cheer too, Because I want to play the second one. But this was fun. I thought the music was great. I really loved every time we unlocked a new character having the Sophie's Choice with, like, who was going to get kicked off the team. It was so fun. I loved We Cheer, but the controls were really wonky. And then the game, like, the end of the game was just so, like, oh, it ended. I cannot decide on my form. I know, same. It's like, I just want to make myself. I just want to make- Freshly Frosted, I'm going to put in B also. I had- this, this was really fun, first of all. Freshly Frosted very kindly sent me, like, a box of, of goodies. And they sent me sprinkles, as well as, like, the most delicious smelling candle. I'm so sad I'm out of the candle. I think I still have it somewhere just so I can, like, smell the residue. It's so good. But yeah, that was really fun. It was a good puzzle game. Um, the music was incredible. It was very relaxing. It was very, very relaxing. Very fun game. I want to go back and actually beat it still. Corpse Party, I'm going to say, is also a B. That's a high B. Corpse Party, I never played it before. But it was a really good time. JK, maybe I like Bratz more. Bratz is a bit more fresh. But Corpse Party was really good. I never played it before or really consumed it. Like, every time I've tried to consume Corpse Party, something just happens to where I just don't. I don't know why. I just never, like, consumed it. Like, I've tried to watch YouTube videos about it. I just, like, fall asleep while I watch them. Like, I don't know what happens. Yeah, Brass was good. Brass is gonna be, like, stay at the front of B. Stigmatized Property, I'm gonna say is C. Stigmatized Property is really good, and all of, like, the Chilla games are super good. The only issue I have with it is it's so short. 
That's really it. I don't know. Glad we got everything in the game, though. But yeah, it's just really short. Good, 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 good Halloween game, though. My Sims A. So fun. I don't think I ever finished it, but it was, I got, like, to the last area, I think. So, like, I might as well finish it. So, so, so good. I need to go back to it. The only issue is... I don't know if I cloud saved it. And I played it on my old PC. So... Pokemon Unite, I'm gonna put as a high C because, not the C placement, I'm gonna put it there because they've changed, at this point they've changed too much where I can't go back. Um, I had a great time with Miss Bliss. I think I got back to Masters, right? Or no, maybe I didn't, I don't remember. But yeah, I think this is where it belongs. I don't really have an elaboration. Yeah, we got to be there at least once, and that's what matters, so. Yeah. After the first time, I know I was at some point in time there this year. Breath of the Wild is gonna be at the front of S. The only reason it's not S plus is because it was my second time playing it, so it was not fresh and new to me. But incredible game. I love Breath of the Wild so much. I'm so excited for Tears of the Kingdom. Um, yeah, this just is not an S+, plus because it was not my first time experiencing the game. So, like, I don't know. I feel like it's hard to play this kind of game the second time and have it, like, hold, like, not, like, not hold up, but, you know, I know how to do everything. I don't have that, like, unknowing anymore. Like, I know what happens, but I'm so excited for the Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, my God. That's a game I'm playing the second it comes out. I'm gonna watch everyone play it and then wait till I forget everything. Yeah. You gotta consume it with everyone else and then, and then. Once you forget everything, you can enjoy it raw again for the first time. I'm telling you, there are some things, if you just wait long enough, it's like fresh again. Hmm. Camp Canyonwood, I'm gonna put at the end of B because I think this was really fun. Um, I was very kindly given a code to play this game, and I had a really fun time with it. The only issue is because the game is still in early access, I feel like there's a lot more stuff that could be added to it. Yeah, the game is still in early access, and I cannot wait to see and play the game and enjoy it when it's, like, fully out. But for right now, I definitely think there's more to be added to it, but it was really fun. I liked it a lot. It was a good time. I'm also very intrigued by the story stuff still, because there's aliens and things and bears. There ain't no way I'd be able to finish it and then watch the VODs, yeah. When I tell you I still haven't beaten Ganon, Rich, I need to beat Ganon! They'll be off the interwebs when Tears of the Kingdom because he because of plot spoilers. Oh yeah, I gotta like speed run that. Like outside of my own stream, I'm like, I cannot consume this. Okay. Fire Emblem Three Houses is at the end of A tier for the same reasons that this Legend of Zelda is not an S plus. Fire Emblem I've consumed when it first came out. Three Houses I consumed when it first came out. This was all just replaying it, um, but I really enjoyed seeing the Blue Lions point of view POV. Um, however, I definitely think I shot myself in the foot by immediately playing Black Eagles again, because it was just too soon after I'd played that, so that's there. Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase, GBA. This was not a good game. <laughs> this was so bad. I had to Google how to do everything. Because it was not good. Barbie and the Island Princess for the GBA is also in D tier. Because it was just a bunch of easy mini games. That like... Barbie Island Princess has come out on multiple different things. And I first originally played it on... PlayStation 2. 
And you, like, and this also has a DS version, and I really feel like the DS version of it is probably better because I feel like a lot of the mini games were, like, definitely optimized for the DS, but they were like, well, we should also put it out on the GBA. So they were just, like, weren't great mini games. I don't know. Yeah. Scooby Doo Cyber Chase is in D tier specifically because they were not movie accurate. So not movie accurate! The My Scene CD ROM games. I'm gonna say My Scene Goes to Hollywood is B. And then I'm gonna say the regular My Scene game is a C. Because My Scene Goes to Hollywood is incredible. I loved how interactive it was. And also, I'm trying to keep in mind, like, how much fun I had with them as a child. And this was just so fun, and I think it's still fun. I love the makeup part, and I love dressing them up, and, like, I just think it was cool you could, like, make your own movie, kind of. I do air quotes, because like, I can't really do that much, but still. And they were just cute dogs. This is the top of C. It was their first CD-ROM. The for It was just very formulaic, like, you were just kind of the same thing every time. Plus, that minigame trying to identify that song, horrible. I'm gonna put all, like, the Scooby-Doo games over here. I need to, like, put all the, like, games together so I can kind of, like, look at them in relation to each other. I also may have to refer to my list. Oh, God. F. <laughs> Scooby-Doo and the Fun Park Phantom is awful. It's so bad. I have a YouTube video on this game if anyone wants to watch. Um, I will say if I not stream these, there are YouTube videos for them on my YouTube channel. So if any of you are like, oh my god, I didn't see that. I have a video for it on YouTube. This game is so bad. It's how it is. This is like the first Scooby Doo CD ROM game, I'm pretty sure. And it's like a board game. However, it's a board game where they don't really explain to you what you're supposed to do. And it's really just kind of like, there's one mini game. Like, if you get caught to, like, avoid losing your turn, I think. But besides that, it's just you walking around, picking up items, and trying to find clues in spaces. And then having to watch all of the CPUs move. And it's just very confusing. And it's really ugly. It's not good and it's boring. Because half the time, not even half the time, like 75% of the time you're playing the game, you're waiting for the CPUs to do their turn. <laughs> would it be more fun with friends though? No. It still wouldn't be fun, even with other people. Like, it's just such a bad game. Yeah, it was really, really bad. It was not good. Well, I gotta see my Google Docs of the other Scooby-Doo games. <laughs> Cause I, I have ranked all of the Scooby-Doo games for when I was like, oh, I need to make a video. And then I just never did. Um, I'm gonna put the activity challenge here. The problem with the activity challenge was it wasn't a full length Scooby-Doo game. This was kind of made to sell the other games, I think. It was like kind of made to promote the other games, from my knowledge. It's like a mini game compilation that features games that are in like some of the other Scooby Doo games. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this was like a bonus CD that make like to be like, oh, you should play the other games too. I think, according to my research, I'm pretty sure that's what happened there. Fright's Camera Mystery, I am gonna put one higher. <laughs> this was also really bad. Um, my reasons for it being bad. It is, this is the newest Scooby-Doo CD-ROM game in terms of like this, like the ones on this list. It's just horrible. Like they perfected the system and then just backtracked. Because, like, the other games are not bad. So how they did so bad with this one, I don't understand. Um, I don't like how it's kind of, like, you can do things, like, I don't know. It's weird because it's, like, one thing is locked until you get a key, but then nothing else is. And they just don't really tell you when you unlock stuff. Like, you can't get into one of the areas until some guy is like, Oh, I have to go to hair and makeup. And then suddenly you're just supposed to be like, Oh, now I can go there, too. Where it's like, why would you be able to do that? Also, I didn't like having to find 10 films around the map. 
because in a prior game, the hidden objects that you find were optional, so it just didn't make sense that suddenly now they matter. And they don't really tell you that until you're at the end and you don't have any of them. All of the mini games are bad. Yeah. Scary Stone Dragon. Also bad. I'll put it right above it. Um, it wasn't good. I don't know. I don't really have much else to say about it. It was not a really good game to me. Dog and Rampas. I'm gonna put both the Dog and Rampas right now. I did not play the first one this year just because I played it at the end of last year, so I'm not gonna count it <laughs> as a game I played this year. But I did have fun playing them, so I am gonna put them in B. I'm gonna put... I prefer Danganronpa 2, however, I was worlds more stressed streaming Danganronpa 2, so that's why it's- why V3 is above it. I don't know why, but I was just so much less stressed streaming V3. Probably because Danganronpa 2, we already started off wrong. I'm not gonna spoil either of them. But I just feel like we're right off the bat with two, like, people already spoiling shit, where it's like, at least in V3, like... We're pretty good. We're pretty good, I feel like. I don't know. Which one had the question, is it okay to play these serialized games out of order? I don't remember. Did that happen during the first or second game? It had to have happened during one of those two. Yeah, we also got locked out of a character's thing. Out of a character's, like, being able to talk to a character. Rate your catchphrase. What if I did rate my catchphrases? Number one, what the back of my head looks like is none of my damn business. I want to believe that was the second one. That's all I need to know. I'm kidding. It'll still be here. But yeah. Yeah, Dog and Rampa 2, I just felt like everyone and their grandmother decided this is the time I'm going to wild out. And I was like, I can't do this. I oh no, I cannot. Scooby Doo Monsters Unleashed. I'm going to put as a solid C. I did sadly stop writing the YouTube thing, so I don't have anything I can say about this. This is based on the movie, and it's really good. I never played it fully because as a child I got stuck, but playing it as an adult I did not because now I'm better at games. Thank you so much for that sandwich. I love a sandwich. The three phrases I used on stream. Number one, epic pog. Can I please? I think that'd be so funny if I were like... Can you imagine if I did, like, TikTok stream stuff, however, it was all satire, and then when people go to my streams, they're like, oh, you're not like that, actually. <laughs> That's not how you are, huh? Like, can you imagine, like, what if they come in here to cyberbully me, and then I'm like, JK, though. I said JK, though. Okay. Glowing Green Bugman is barely better than Scooby-Doo 2, and this is mainly just out of pure nostalgia. Um... The mini games aren't that good, but there are like some mini games that are just really, really fucking good in that. Okay. Phantom of the Night, solid B game. I'm gonna put this below here only because I had to Google the location of one thing. And this is another one that also kind of suffers from just like not telling you when you can suddenly go into rooms. Um, however, it only does it once and it's fine. But this is such a good game. This is not one I've even played as a child. Um, I did play it, I think, like, last year for, like, two years ago for Halloween. But, like, I also played it on YouTube this year. And it was really, really good. It holds up. It's good. Now, Showdown and Ghost Town and Jinx the Sphinx. These are always so hard for me to place because I love them both so much. Showdown at Ghost Town, I just have so much nostalgia for, and I always want to put it above Jinx's Sphinx, but I do just have to recognize Jinx's Sphinx is slightly better. Both are incredible Scooby-Doo games. Like, me as an adult has a great time playing them. Um, this, I believe, Showdown at Ghost Town came out in 2000. 
as well. Okay, so the order of release for the, these three. This came out in 2000, this came out later in 2000, and this came out in 2001. And I think they really nailed it, and I'm so sad they immediately changed to the Case Files one. Because the Case Files just don't hold up compared to the OG3 Learning Company games. Even though these are Learning Company, so I don't know. But, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of Scooby-Doo games. It is- I played every single Scooby-Doo CD-ROM this year. <laughs> so there are quite a few of them. All of them are up here. So yeah, there are a lot of Scooby-Doo games. Because I really did commit to playing all of them in October and November, so... That is why there are a lot, because I was committed to finishing them all. <laughs> yeah, Jinx and the Sphinx, I think they just really nailed it and perfected it all so well. And I really liked it. I feel like with this one, there were some puzzles where it's like... There's still one puzzle where you have to, like, cover, like, snakes with a blanket, but they just, like, don't do that, but for some- I don't know, it's very weird. It's kind of like a broken minigame. Like, not a broken minigame, but, like, a broken puzzle. And I just feel like Jinx the Sphinx, like, all the puzzles make sense, and the progression order of things makes sense. My game does always crash at one part, though, or my game freezes, and that's stressful. Yeah, no one is providing CD-ROM content like me. That is so true. I think next year we're getting into the Barbie CD-ROMs, and I'm excited. How I'm gonna rank the Nancy Drew games, I don't know. A fashion boutique. This is my comfort game. <laughs> this is my comfort game. I have not played it in so long. Because I've not played it since a child. I think I like repurchased it to be able to play it on YouTube. But this is my comfort game. I love, love, love going back to this game. It is like a Mania Dash game. I played it all on YouTube. And I don't know, I love it so much. It makes me so happy, even though it is, like, the most bare bones of the Dash Mania games. Like, I definitely think Dire Dash is probably a bit more intense, but so, 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 so good. I love it so much. Is it time to play Rune Factory 5? I don't know. Wizard 101, solid B. Good game. I don't have anything else to say about it. Wizard 101 is a good game. Um, I did conveniently play it during, like, a free weekend, so that was nice. And yeah. Um, styling, sa style savvy styling star, I'm gonna put in high C. Because I think there are other style savvy games that are probably better than the styling star. Which, I think I want to go back and play some of the other ones. I think that would be fun. Yeah, Styling Star was the newest one. And I don't know. I do think the other ones are just more fun for some reason. Very odd, very odd. Hmm. Our list has gotten so short now. Pokemon Violet A. Pokemon Legends Arceus, also A. I think I'm gonna put Pokemon Violet above Arceus. Just because maybe it's fresher. I love them both so much. I thought they were both really good. Pokemon Violet maybe is just getting like recency bias, but A, I love it. I think it's so good. Um. I also think this, like, almost made me cry, whereas this, I don't remember. So, yeah. Spirits and spells, I think, would be so much higher if the end of the game didn't happen, so I'm gonna put it here, because the last boss was so horrible. That last boss was awful. So it's gonna go there. Pretty Princess Party, I'm gonna put in B. The reason it's not higher, basically to get anything done, you just have to keep playing the same mini games over and over again. But like, there's something about it. I would have loved this game as a child, so. Minish Cap was not this year, no. That was, I guess, last year or the year before. Whatever year I played Breath of the Wild for the first time. So maybe last year? Yeah, being trapped in the past would not make me cry. Yeah, JK would, yeah. It would make probably me myself cry, but me as someone controlling a character, I'm not crying. I'm not gonna cry, but yeah. I'm just saying, why did we decide to stay in the past though? It feels like this year, which is wild. Yeah, it feels like it was so recent, but no, because I remember. 
I, I had to beat that before I played Breath of the Wild for the first time. So. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Yeah, D for Deluxe, it's in, it's in the letters. Um, this is here for multiple reasons. One, why all the courses for the DLC not just come out all at once? Why didn't they just come out with a new one? Second, I could only play eight new maps so many times before I'm tired of them. Or however many are new, I don't know, I don't care. Um... Did you even touch Tired of the Peach Map? No, I haven't even played any of the new wave of like the most recent DLC wave. And maybe I won't. Maybe I'll wait for all the DLC to come out. So that way there's like so much that's fresh. I just want to put all the bayonetas together so I can have them to look at. Okay. Dogs with a Z. I'm going to put this pretty high actually I'm gonna put it as a high B because I think I could be wrong I'll even fact check to make sure I'm correct but I think this is the first thing I did as like an original YouTube content um I, I don't know. I just had a lot of fun with it. I'd also, like, haven't played it since I was a child. So, that was good. I liked it. Yeah, people really just want instant gratification. When will Nintendo learn? When will they learn? Their actions have consequences. Your actions have consequences! I want to start getting through some of the Nancy Drew ones, but I have to, like, put them all together. Because I really need them, like, in reference to each other. So. Ace Attorney. I feel like just out of how long it's taken me to play it, I can't put up that high. Like, I've really taken my sweet time. Like, Ace Attorney would have been on my list for the past, like, five years in terms of, like, games I streamed. So I don't know how to even, like... Do I think of this big picture? Just like the few streams I did this year. I'll say it's like a B. Just because I didn't play that much of it this year. <laughs> comparatively. Drama Queens without a Z is so difficult. I'm gonna put it as a C. <laughs> because I want to like it so bad. But like she's a little tough. She's a little bit of a tough cookie. Now, Bratz Rock Angels GBA. I'll put here. Totally Spies I'll put, like, here. Because this is good. This is a good game. And it's actually, like... It's not difficult, but it it's, makes sense. Like, me as an adult was like, oh, I'm kind of struggling a little sometimes. Some of the stuff is tough. Disney Princess Enchanted Journey. This is one we're currently currently being uploaded onto YouTube. I'll say it's a C. The controls are really bad on PC, and I think that that this is where it should be. This is my chance. Turn it up. We have we have our Sailor Moon music in the background. Hopefully, I don't get copywritten. Monster High Ghoul Spirit. See? Yeah. Monster Prom Road Trip. I only played the demo, but I really liked the demo, but not enough to buy the full game. So, like, I'll put it at the end of B. Now, I want to get through the Barbie and Nancy Drew games. I think, without question, Magic of the Pegasus is a genuinely good game. And I think it deserves to be the highest because I think it just takes a lot of things from the other games that I really like. Like, this game makes sense. Whereas some of the other ones do not. Like, these all involved a lot of backtracking to where I'm like, I think they should solidly be in B. 
I like the 12 Dancing Princesses gimmicks a bit more. Because in Barbie and the Prince of the Popper, I don't know. You could tell they did not optimize some levels well. Yeah, this was the best one because I feel like it took a lot of the stuff from 12 Dancing Princesses I liked, but just made more, made more sense. This I'll also put in B. I don't like some of the mechanics in this. And then this is just a mini game compilation, so it's not really going to go that much higher than this. Directly above Elden Ring, it was quite humorous. <laughs> yeah. Listen, Dogs is a good game. <laughs> dogs is just so good, I can't help it. I just, I love taking care of a little dog in a game setting. And I have a dog in real life, so I like, like taking care of him too. Now, the Nancy Drew game. Games plural. What even was the Scarlet Hand? Compared. Oh, this was in a museum, and this was like in a temple. I had like not a temple, but like something. I feel like these two are my favorites from this year. I'm just gonna put them at the front, but like I need to look at them. Did I have to Google anything for either of these? I'm gonna put them above Splatoon Three. These were really good. Mega Monster, thank you so much for that fall. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, one of these, I think the Scarlet Hand was sent for Ubi Sabubi, and that may raise it just because of that. But yeah, I think these are both so solidly A for me. The Creature of Papu Cave, I'm gonna put as a high B. Because I liked it a lot, but. Why you put the Struggle Iceberg puzzle? Oh, that's so right. Yeah, I think this one I liked a bit more than that, then. Yeah, because this definitely had some things I had to Google, but I think Alibi and Ashes, I don't think I had to Google anything for. Scarlet Hand, I'm going to put in high C, just sheerly out of some Ruby Sabubi. This, I think, is like a low B. Yeah. And then the Haunted Carousel, I don't remember how I felt about this. So... But like here. I don't remember like loving it. I remember kind of being a little bit like, eh. Now we just have Bayonetta and Rune Factory 5. Oh no. I've. <sighs> hey, you do a Pokemon Gen 9 tier list? Yes. If someone finds me one, I'll do it. If someone has the link to Pokemon tier list for Gen 9, I will do it. Where'd it go? Oh god. Where'd I put it? Oh shit. Okay, no, it's not a D tier. I misclicked. I really loved Rune Factory 5. I'm not proud of it, but I really liked Rune Factory 5. It had a lot working against it, but I really liked it, okay? I think it's also just important to note, I was just so happy that there's more games in the franchise. Also, thank you for the tier list. I have opened it. After that, we have a Darien Lake Runaway tier list. Again, if y'all find a link for it, I will provide. Okay. Now the Bayonetta games. I think the second game I'm gonna put in S. I think I'm gonna put the first game in A. High A. Yeah. I 
I think Bayonetta 3 for me is in B tier. I'm not gonna spoil anything. But it would 100% be lower if it weren't for Miss Ball. I will explain why without spoiling anything. I hate the end. I'm not gonna spoil anything, don't worry, don't worry. I'm not gonna say anything, like, out besides I just hate X and Z, but I'm not gonna go into details. Like, I'm not gonna explain the plot of the end. I just hate the end. I hate Viola. <laughs> I, no, I don't hate Viola as a character. I hate playing as Viola. I did like the outfits, and I loved Ball. I liked the weapon variety. I do stand by, I think Bayonetta 3, Bayonetta outfit is my favorite of the three outfits. I liked how you could change colors. What music is it playing now? Sailor Moon music compilation. I'm just gonna turn it up a little bit. Unless that's too loud for y'all, let me know. Um, but yeah. I thought the plot was cool most of the time. I also just for some reason, I just still think the controls were weird. Like, I don't know, they just were like, I feel like Bayonetta 2 like just fine tuned everything so well. But yeah, that's our list. Here it is. Big picture, here is my tier list of every game I have created some form of content with this year. I stand by it, I think. Yeah, Ubi Sabubi, hold on and see your tier. Yeah, the lamb reigns supreme. Praise the lamb. There's so much pink on this, it makes me happy. Yeah, I forgot I spent money on Kirby. That kind of hurts, snowing. What's next to Zelda and Bug Snacks? The quarry. I couldn't find a good image, so I just... The for only image I found that had the name that I clicked on that would have worked was like a web B file or something, so I was like, I'll just save Brenda's song. But yeah, that's the quarry. Yeah, this was fun. I stand by it. Congratulations. You won. 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 Congratulations. You won